Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see the execution order of the fault rules and how it changes between the proxy endpoint and the target endpoint. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account and you need basic concepts of Apache API proxy as well as fault rules. For this, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's understand how these fault rules will get executed in the proxy endpoint and target endpoint. As you know, you can write the fault rules in proxy endpoint and target endpoint to handle the faults. In the proxy endpoint, whenever a fault happens, then the evaluation order of the fault rules is from bottom to top in the XML configuration. And whenever a fault happens in the target, the execution order of the fault rules is from top to bottom. That means the fault rule that is defined at the top of the XML will be evaluated first and then it goes down. And most important thing to remember is only one fault rule will get executed when multiple fault rule conditions get matched based on this order. Inside the fault rule, when you attach the policies, policies always executes from top to bottom in a sequential order. Let's see it in action how it works. I'm going to create a simple API proxy in Apigee Edge. Click on API proxies. Click on plus proxy button to create a simple proxy. And then choose diverse proxy, click on next. Give the proxy name as uh, fault rules order demo. And give the existing API as HTTP bin.org. Click on next. Choose authorization as pass through. Click on next. Choose defaults, build and deploy. Access the API proxy screen to see the proxy endpoints. Let's attach some fault rules and see the execution order of the fault rules. So first we're gonna attach some fault rules to the proxy endpoint. Click on proxy endpoints default. So we're gonna have some fault rules. As you can see, I have defined three fault rules and remember the execution order of the fault rules is from bottom to top in the proxy endpoint. So that means fault rule three will get executed first and two and then one. And whichever matches first and it will execute and only one will get executed. Since I'm not defining any conditions here, that means fault rule three should get executed. To see that, I'm gonna create three policies, simple JavaScript policies. So I'm gonna name it as uh, fault rule JS1, fault rule JS2, and uh, make sure you create a new script, fault rule JS3. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just print a message. Let's say, hello one. Hello 2 and Hello 3. Now let's update the fault rules and add these uh, policies. As you can see, we just attached all these uh, three JavaScript policies in the fault rules in each fault rule. So since uh, the fault rules get executed from bottom to top, we should see only Hello 3 since uh, fault rule FR03 will get executed and the policy FRJS3 will be executed. Let's rise a fault uh, using uh, rise fault policy to enter fault rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rise a fault using the rise fault policy in the proxy endpoints uh, default uh, preflow request. So click on preflow and then choose uh, rise fault and then add save the API proxy. Switch on trace to see it in action. Start trace session. Let's make an API call. As you can see, hello3 got executed because only one fault rule will be executed in, in the proxy endpoint or target endpoint. And the order of execution of proxy endpoint is from bottom to top. Let's see how it works in the target endpoint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these fault rules from proxy endpoint and place the same fault rules in the target endpoint and move the rise fault policy to from uh, proxy endpoint to target endpoint. So I'm going to select uh, uh, target endpoint preflow. I'm going to drag and drop the rise, and rise fault policy and I'm going to remove the rise fault policy from preflow. So now rise fault policy is attached to target endpoint so that fault rules in the target endpoint can execute it. Now we will see hello one because the execution order is from top to bottom. You can also have multiple policies inside the fault rules. You can just define using step elements. Let's see it in action. Click on save. Click on trace. Restart the trace session. And let's make an API call. As you can see, now hello one is printed because the fault rules execution will be from top to bottom in, in case of target endpoint fault rules. So that's how the execution order works in Apigee Edge fault rules. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to post your questions in comment.apigee.com. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues.